Hey guys, welcome back. Modi101 here, and we are back in Overgrown, picking up right where we left off. So, last episode, we got ourselves some wheels, we got ourselves a helicopter. We're doing pretty good. So, um, what I want to work on now, if we pop into the book, we pop out of here, and we get into Apocalypse Kitchen. Now, it says empty. I don't think they've really worked on it a ton. It's in Greenhouse. We should get into that. Okay. Um... But what it wants us to make is all the kitchen items, okay? But before we do that, we're going to want to do a little bit of prep work. So like I had mentioned, now I'm thinking... Huh, I'm thinking about making this into kind of a... Kind of an apartment kind of feel, right? So I'm thinking first off, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna open this up here. All right. And let's see, we're going to probably go here. So let's go up and get ourselves some of this uh, light gray hardened clay. We should have plenty of, we do. All right, and let's go ahead and kind of frame up where our, our living quarters are going to be. Okay, including our kitchen. So I figure we're going to want at least a couple blocks here to be able to walk. So that means we're going to have to kind of go up like this. And then we're going to come across... Oh, I don't like how that blocks that window. Well, you know what? For now, it's fine. We'll just do this. All right. All right. And we're just going to kind of oh, frame this up a little bit. All right. And let's see. Now, where's the center of this? It's kind of a two-block center. All right. That's perfect. So we're just going to go ahead and cut out. We're going to kind of stay with... Uh, Kind of how the build originally was. So now we're just going to put these in uh, here. All right. And then uh, we'll just do this and this. And that's too wide. We can put some doors in there. So all right. Now there we go. So we got ourselves a little area here. And then what I'm thinking is we can put something in like this. Oh, that'll be perfect. Just like that. So... Now we got ourselves a bedroom. We got ourselves like a little living room area here. We'll pick these guys up, get these guys out of the way. All right. And then we have ourselves a small kitchen here. I think we're gonna put kind of a little little header here. Maybe go like that. There we go. Let's see how that looks. That looks good. All right, there we go. So we got ourselves a kitchen, little kitchen dining area, right? And then we got ourselves a bedroom. We don't need much. It's just us. You know, everyone else has been murdered by the plague or whatever it was. So, all right. So let's go do this real quick. Let's hop up here. Because I do want to kind of clean this area up. This has been kind of just our utility, you know, our utility area. And I want to have a little bit better stuff here. So we come down. We're going to just toss our bed right here. Maybe we'll throw some torches up on the wall like this. Uh, maybe one up here. Yeah, let's put them higher. I want them out of the way. All right, there we go. Put one here. Kind of light this place up a little bit. So maybe we don't need these ones here. Do I have the F7 ability? I don't know. Let's find out if I break this. F7? No, I don't think it's in this pack. But we can kind of tell, right? So we'll just do that. All right, good. So we got ourselves a little place of our own. Now, <clears throat> we haven't been starving, but we mostly, the main thing we've been eating is the meat stuff because it's, it's what gives us the most uh, saturation. So, but I, I'm kind of running low on it, I think. Do I have some cooking in either one of these? I do not. So let's go ahead and toss these in. Oh, I have 15 steak on me. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so now we need to craft this stuff for our kitchen. And that is a quest. So it needs a cooking table, an oven, two fridges, a sink, and at least two countertops. And then that'll also give us the toaster, the spice rack, the tool rack, and the cooking for block heads one, which seems dumb, but because we need the book to make the thing. But all right, let's see how much of a headache this is going to be. This is going to be, so first off, we're going to need black hardened clay, which is we need hardened clay. Uh, what's this? Molten clay? How do I get that? Can I use dirt, stone, and water? Okay, that's interesting. I did not know that. Okay. 
Um, all right, so I can't. I was, I was kind of hoping we could use some of the clay that we already have on us, but we can get some of that. But we're going to need this book. So we're going to need this book. So we're going to have to cook a book. We're going to have to cook the books, people. Um, there's a book. Sweet. Let's head over here. Let's cook this guy up so that would be hard. All right, so now we need uh, the ink sacks. And unfortunately, we're going to have to use both of them. And I don't think... Oh, I do have some clay. Sweet. So what am I going to need? I'm going to need three there. I'm going to need the glass there. That's not hard. I don't need any there. And then I do need some for these. So what was it? Three? Okay, I can get away with one. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do this. And let's go ahead. We'll pull these steak out. We'll get some of these cooking like that. And then we're also going to need some glass, which we have, but not quite enough. Six, seven, eight. Actually, that might be just enough. That might be perfect. All right, so we got our book here. So while that cooks up, let's go ahead and grab ourselves two diamonds and craft us up a couple of crafting tables. All right, perfect. Really? Really? All right, and then we're going to need... Oh, no, nope, I'm making the book, not the whole thing. Okay, and boom. All right, we got our book. We are going to need some raw wood, which we have a decent amount of. All right. And then while we're waiting, let's go ahead and make ourselves up three doors. That is perfect. Okay. All right, so we got our glass. So now we just put the glass in here like so. Grab one of these, put it there. That's awesome. There's my dog. Uh, we're waiting on two more of those. Okay. Uh, we are going to need a pretty hefty amount of iron. Pretty decent amount. So let's see if we can start making some of this stuff. And we are going to need a bucket of water. So let's run upstairs and go ahead and get that. Just trying to get all the pieces so that when that's done cooking, we are ready to go. How is this guy? Whoops. Well, I just gave that some water. Um, we ran out of power. Let's get this uh, this guy all fired up again. There we go. Let's grab some more water that we need. I am going to want to do some work up here. I'm thinking we're going to make that all farm. So I'm going to have to do some definite work on that. All right. So our clay should, enough of our clay should be done. It is. Let's go ahead and wrap this around like so. Stick our last ink sack in there. Perfect. Okay. So let's see if we can just start hammering out some of this stuff. So there's that. Perfect. Let's go. Uh, we need this. Perfect. Done. Okay. Pretty easy. All right. And then we need two fridges. So we're going to need two of these. All right. And then so we're going to need. Oh, we need to make a chest. Let's uh, let's do that. Let's make some chests. Okay. All right, and here is two fridges, perfect. We're gonna need the sink, boom, done. We get our bucket back, that's always a nice thing. All right, and then uh, the last thing was two countertops. But I'm actually gonna, well, we'll make two for now and then we'll go set it up and see how it looks. But that should take care of that, perfect, okay. So, wrong way. So let's head down to our apartment, get a couple things kind of set up. <clears throat> um, I may move the block lens down with the animals. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and grab our doors. All right, there we go. Nice. Put one on our bedroom. Cool. All right, so we'll put the kitchen on this side. So let's go ahead and claim this. There we go. And then the next one is to get a counter jar, which we're going to do. All right, so we got that, and then we're going to put, you know, maybe put the oven over here. Just kind of want to split things up a little bit. We'll put the sink over here, and then I'm thinking the fridge right in the corner like that. Good, good. And then we're going to start putting counters in here. So I'm going to want to make at least two. That's why I waited on those. I want to make at least two more counters to be able to go across the entire stretch of that. 
All right, let's see. And one and two. Perfect. I don't need that third one right now. All right. So now we should, and then we're going to put up our racks. And then, uh, you know, while I'm up here, let's do this. Oh, you know what? We might not need two counters now that I think about it. Darn. All right, we have somewhere, we have all of our cooking utensils. Uh, let's see if we can clean up the old inventory a little bit. What did I just put in there? Give me that back. Um, give me that back. Let's put as much of this stuff in here that we can. Uh, all right, let's toss this in here. Good enough. Okay, um, get all of our cooking utensils. All right, looks good. Okay, let's head down so we can finish setting up our kitchen. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. So, all right, so now we have two tool racks. We're just going to put them on the wall like so, right near the oven. All right, we're going to put another one of our counters here. And then I think we're going to put the presser here. All right, so... I really, I know later versions, they connect this stuff and it looks so much better, but. All right, so in here we got this, we got that, this, and this, okay. And then up here we should have this guy, the juicer, the cutting board, and finally the mortar and pedestal, okay. And then we got ourselves a toaster, stick that guy right there. And then, um, these, the spice racks. And we'll put these like that. All right, there we go. We have a fully functioning kitchen. We can already make bubbly water, water, and salt. And we have nothing in there. That's pretty cool. Now, can this go somewhere? Like, what do I do with this? Well, that's interesting. Okay, well... I don't know if I ever kind of clicked that book. All right, so let's head back up here, and I really don't need this book because it's all going to be there. And I can move all the food and stuff into there a little bit later. And that'll kind of open up some room in here as well. Right, let's put that in there. That and that. Got our bucket. Good, good. We got our iron right here like that. Awesome. Okay, so here's the next question I have. Do we have at... Mr. McCrinnell. Uh, what if, what if, I guess I'm going caps. All right, so we don't have any decorating mods in here. And I hate doing the whole, it's stairs, it's totally a couch, but we may not have much of a choice. Um, we have a big variety of them. But I don't know anything that's necessarily going to look a lot like a couch. I mean, this is old school vanilla stuff, you know, which is, you know, sometimes fun. Sometimes to to get back to the old building days before I was really doing a bunch of modded stuff. Stone stairs. That might not be a bad idea. Of course, it's always nice to go with the wooden ones because then you can, you know, what, let's just do wooden ones. I'll show you guys why. So, um... Grab a little bit of this and get this stuff out of here. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's make up. We, just, we don't need a lot. Just one little set here. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do this. I mean, I'm, I'm, trust me, I'm not showing you guys anything you haven't seen before. But I just figured, you know, if we're going to make a, make a place of our own, we might as well have it nice. And then also we should be able to make... Um, I think this is definitely going to go into our, uh, ha our apartment, all right? And then, um, let's see what we have for tables. You know what, actually, hold on. No, okay. All right, so we have, uh, we have the oak tables. Um, what is this thing? Skeleton assembly table. Interesting. Um, yeah, we are going to have to do that. It may be another building. You know, maybe we'll make a walkway to another building. We'll start working on that pretty soon. Um, yeah, it looks like pretty much the oak tables are kind of our deal. So let's go ahead 
and make ourselves one of these. All right, I gotta make some slabs real quick. I probably have some, but I'm lazy. All right, so let's go ahead and make this. Let's make two of those. All right. Actually, you know what? Let's make. No, that's fine. And then um, <clears throat> I'm gonna want these slabs. You guys will see. And then. What do I want to make? Oh, I need wool to make seats. I don't think we're gonna have enough wool. Well, maybe, maybe. Let's let's try real quick. Let's see if we can make ourselves a couple pressure pads, pressure plates, whatever they're called, and make ourselves some oak chairs. All right, and then the backings. That's not too bad. Okay, so we need a little bit more sticks. We can do that. All right, so let's go ahead and just make nothing fancy, pretty, pretty standard. All right, there we go. All right, let's go uh, just kind of finish up our house a little bit. That's not the way to it. I don't know why I thought it was upstairs, but all right. You know what I need? Is there elevator blocks in this? I think I've already looked. I'm not small elevator. Oh, uh, let's see probably spelling it wrong. Oh, that's it. Elevator track, so yeah. We could do that. I and mean, we could use a minecart kind of concept of it. It's it's a little blah, but okay, so our tables are gonna go here, right? So there's our, our you know well it's good, just our place. So it's a little little kitchen nook thing here. Is this gonna fit right? No, I didn't think it was gonna happen right. Alright, we gotta pick these up. It's how you're standing when you put these bad boys down. So we're going to go here and here with that and that. Okay. So there we go. So we got ourselves a little place to make some food, a little table to sit at. And then, you know, this is just going to be kind of a common area here. So we're going to kind of come around. You know what? We don't need anything too big. That'll probably be good. Throw some signs on the end here. So we got our little armrest going. My dog's freaking out at probably nothing. All right, then let's go ahead and grab a few of these and make ourselves like just a little coffee table right there. And then in our bedroom, we're gonna put a couple little nightstands on each side of the bed. And then I'm thinking we're gonna put our desk here. Oh, let's get back up here. And then we'll put the seat down and put the back on. This is our more comfortable regal table there we go um and there we are i mean we got ourselves you know our little uh, little apartment which is you know where we're gonna sleep and obviously we can move all the food down here and uh, kind of go from there all right so i'm also thinking and how much time do we have left oh we're almost done holy poop all right so we got chateau de modi set up and then this is going to be a level for something. Um, maybe we'll, that'll be our dinosaur stuff. I'm thinking about... Oh, I'm missing a block here. Oh, I'm thinking about moving the blocklings down here. Just to kind of keep an eye on the animals. And then that way we can really open up the floor there on. Which is right below our main floor. And maybe this can be a little bit more of a machinery room. You know what I'm saying? So we can kind of get, you know, some of this stuff out of here. The smeltery is fine there. This is okay for storage. We can get a lot of this stuff kind of out of the way. It might uh, be able to open up our storage area. but And then that way what we can do is uh, we can take all this stuff, uh, these things, and move them down to the blockling floor. And then I can take out this stuff here and expand our farm. So that we have a better farming area. I think that would be pretty important. Because we have some food here, but it's not a ton. So I think that'll kind of work out a little bit there. So, all right. So we do have some work for uh, ourselves. And then, of course, once we have some better areas for places, then we can kind of work on things some more. I also want to look at one last thing before we go. Apparently, we don't have any sound mufflers. I was hoping to... We may have to move those animals. Let's actually go look at that. We're, we're right here at the end, so we're going to start doing the outro here in just a second. But until then, a lot of you guys had pointed out a smart thing to do would be maybe to make an area 
down here so that our blocklings could be outside, you know, and, you know, if they're safe, you know, put up a, a fence and a gate and everything. And I'm thinking we might, instead of moving dirt up into the building, maybe we'll just move the animals down here and kind of go from there. Maybe we'll even make a, uh, you know, what we could do. We could kind of clean this area up. This might be an idea. And then we could make this a big zoo area. Or not zoo, but like a farm animal. Kill the bugs and clean up all this stuff and basically have a place down here put a little you know fence along here and a gate and we can come down here and that way we're not listening to the stupid animals clean all this up maybe get the gravel out put some dirt in so we got some work we got some ideas you know we're gonna kind of carve out a little place to sell a place or little part of this area for ourselves i mean you know it's all ours technically so and then of course we can obviously do something here and we can do something maybe we can do something down here as well so let's put the animals down here well we'll see all right guys hope you enjoyed the episode if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up questions comments concerns put it down in the comments section um and if you guys want to come watch the sh the squad shenanigans live go over to twitch.tv slash modi 101 that way you guys can follow my follow me on twitter or on twitch my bad on Twitch, uh, make sure you turn on notifications so you guys can get notified when we stream and you guys come hang out with us. Uh, like I said, we've had a lot of new people recently and that is always awesome to see. And then if you guys want to come play with us on our Patreon server, chit chat with us, not only us, but all of our awesome Patreons on the uh, Patreon Discord, you can simply do that by becoming a Patreon yourself. Uh, go check out the Patreon link down below. <clears throat> has all the information for... Uh, how you can do all that and lastly if you want to get your very own minecraft server the only place to go to is a game use the link down below so you know you're coming from the squad use a coupon code to save yourself some money and until the next episode i want to thank you guys so much for hanging out we'll see you guys next time bye